Pumi. Hello, hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Johanna. I live in a mobile home on a hill in California. <laughs> Not really glamorous. I don't live in the Beverly Hills, but <laughs> um, yeah. So today I am in our little bathroom. It's off my little girl's room. We have two bedrooms and this is a half bath. And um, my older daughter lived with us when we moved here and she started painting it blue, which I, I have enough blue in the house. And so I'm just gonna paint this room white. Handy dandy paint roller. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try to give this bathroom just a little makeover, freshen it up and brighten it up and a few little things changing a few little things and just decorating a little bit. So thank you for coming and watching today. I hope you have a great day. Okay. So I thought I would just give you a little overview. This is a very small bathroom. Whoa. Okay. See the blue paint? <laughs> and then... I just wanted to show you what we're working with. This mirror was here, it's way too small. And this will probably have to go. That funny light, that's gonna be changed, hopefully, before this video comes out. <laughs> now, if I, have I made you thoroughly dizzy? Let's just kind of go around like this. Whoa. Okay, Oh. all right. Ready to roll. Breathe in, paint, paint. <coughs> There's one coat. I'll probably do a second coat on this because it looks like you can see the blue a little bit through it, but that's okay. Now you can see my white background. I'm going to do a second coat and get it covered because some of that blue is showing through and these walls before I thought were white, but they were almost gray. <laughs> I am getting covered. I'm running into everything. So that's why I wore the shirt because I painted in it the other day and got some paint on it. It's my new paint shirt. So what are you working on this summer? Do you have any projects going on in your house? Anything that you need to paint? Summertime is a good time to do it because it's warm and you know, they say don't paint when it's cold. I've done it before, but it dries faster in the summer. So what are you working on around your house? Let me know in the comments. So here's what I found at Walmart. It was like $12 for this little thing of dark blue. It's really dark, but it didn't cost very much, so I thought I'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Oh boy, okay, I'm tired of painting already, but <laughs> the walls are done, all the white's done, two coats, and so now I'm gonna paint this cabinet. But anyway, and I ran out of um, tape, like masking tape, 
I know, painter seems good. I didn't think to get any yet, so um, I put some clear tape on the floor. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm gonna use this to kind of edge, and I really hope it works. Oh my gosh, I think I love this color. I'll pull it on this wall. We're gonna need probably three coats maybe for this to cover the white. Oh, that doesn't look so great. Best we can, and I think I'll clean that up later. I don't know how, I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I like the color though, so pretty, so neat and dark. I've never painted anything dark like this before, you know, in a house. <laughs> so it's been light colors or white. Oh. I like it. I think I'll come in with a little baby paintbrush later or some tape. <laughs> tape. Oh boy, something to fix that. That wasn't, look, like leaked onto the other side. Wasn't the best idea, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. I'll show you. like to have a small little roller but again I didn't think of it and we didn't have one so if you want a really cheap and pretty easy way to make a big difference just go with paint as you can see on these cabinets here paint covers a multitude of sins and it reminds me of what the Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins and God wants us to be more loving and more forgiving and if that's hard for you, because that's easier said than done, then just ask God to help you. Ooh, well, all the painting's done. Um, I just need to do a little bit of touch-ups, because, yeah, on the sides. But I'll do that later. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to hang up the picture that we had here. We're going to use the same one, and I ca I'm kind of using it for the color scheme in this room anyway. Uh, because my little girl liked it. We got it at a second-hand store for like $10 last year with the primary colors in it it'll be really cute kids bathroom plus you know extra bathroom it's not gonna be that childish this mirror um I've had it for like a few years anyway I'm just gonna use this mirror that I took out of my bedroom <laughs> I don't know if I don't like it in here I'll get a different mirror later so there's the mirror they have it a little bit low because there's this is a kid's bathroom So this bathroom didn't have any handles on the cabinet doors and I'm really excited. We found these. It's a set of six. We only need three. At the Goodwill for $369. And they fit perfectly, which is I mean, is lucky. up with this from the Dollar Tree for $125. Got this little cup for $0.25 cents at the secondhand store. I'll take that tag off later. But I thought that that would be good enough for her toothpaste and her toothbrush to go in. And then this soap she already had. See the little fishies in it? 
So this little basket's a really good place to store towels here on the counter. Just rolled up a couple of towels and put in there. This is from the Dollar Tree over the door towel bar. So that's kind of nice because this bathroom doesn't have a towel bar or a towel rack. all finished and we got this behind the toilet shelf. My daughter moved and they couldn't use this anymore so they gave it to us. And I'm just going to put a few things on it. I'm going to screw it to the wall too, don't worry. <laughs> are a good place to store a little extra toilet paper, towel, little waste basket side. We will put the little toilet paper holder that I painted for my other bathroom, but she needs it more than we do, and we can keep looking for another one. So here is and this was how my little curtain turned out. That was a piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree with hot glue. Uh, I didn't have anything to do a rod, so I just did that. The thrifted basket, the thrifted little cup, and the Dollar Tree soap dish, Dollar Tree towel holder, and there's our handles from the Goodwill for $3.49. We had the art, it was $10 in the, some way a long time ago, and these were just things we used from around the house we already had except for the shelf, which was given to me. So this was kind of fun, being able to paint something a dark color. you can see my white background where we're um, going we got this little over-the-door um, cabinet door let's go 